Hey guys, it's Nick from F150LEDs.com. Today we've got our 2021 Ford Bronco here in the shop and we're showing you how to install our Cree XTE LED Spartan hood lights or ditch lights as they're commonly called. These things are extremely bright. They're definitely going to give you that FOV or field of view of light that you're looking for because not only do you have directional light with six XTE chips here on the front, but on each side you've got three side emitting chips as well. So you're going to get that distance as well as the side cast lighting. So these come in pure white. We've actually got some cover uh, caps that can uh, filter the light to amber or more of the uh, yellow or if you've uh, got regulations, you can black them out as well. All right, so these things are extremely easy to install, and we're gonna show you how they're done right now. Before we jump into it, please take a quick second to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps other Ford owners just like you find our content. Thanks, we really appreciate your support. Our Cree Spartan lights are built to the highest of standards. They're definitely gonna uh, hold up to everything that your Bronco is gonna wanna put them through. They've got blacked out hardware, so even when the lights are off, these things are gonna look fantastic on the truck. Now, when you first receive the lights, you're gonna wanna go ahead and mount this bracket here. Um, so how you do that, you just drop in your nut here on this back channel right under the um, bracket. You just kinda wanna get it a couple of shakes to so get that nut flat like this going along with these serrations here. And then you're just gonna come in with your uh, bolt here, use the included uh, hardware, and you're just gonna line it up with that nut. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but this allow you to tighten your bracket to the light housing itself, okay? And then you, we've already got the nut on this side, so you'll just repeat that for all four sides. Let's line this up, there we go. And then once it's tight, then you'll be good to go. And this bracket here does adjust and then once you get your bracket on, you're going to want to take uh, the hardware that we're going to be using to mount to the truck, which is this bolt, a lock washer, and then a washer. And then we're going to be using a washer that goes down on the truck. So, but then take your nut, um, excuse me, your bolt, slide it up under this bracket here, and then pull up. Okay. Now we'll repeat that for this light. Now a couple of things to take note, we, do, we are gonna be using our wireless system installed today, but we do have premium in-dash switch option. You've got side light covers in case you're uh, gonna angle your lights in. Uh, these side emitting lights can be bright inside the cab unless you cover them. We've also got filters uh, as well, which clip on the uh, end of the caps here, and that gives you amber, yellow, or a full blackout option uh, if you need that for regulations. Okay, so let's go ahead and install these puppies on the Bronco. Now that we've got our bracket and mounting hardware attached to our Spartan light, we're ready to mount it here to the Bronco. So set the light aside, and we need to re first remove this Torx Plus 30 bolt here on the inner side of the uh, Bronco, and that's gonna allow us to pull up on this plastic uh, fairing here and run our harness to the engine bay. So let's go ahead and do that first, our Torx 30. Now make sure you're using a Torx 30 plus bit. If you're using a standard Torx bolt, you're gonna strip out your bolt. Okay, and then set that aside because we'll need to reuse that. Now what we need to do is just go ahead and uh, you can use like a flathead screwdriver or if you've got a plastic pry tool, just gently pull up here on this fairing just to loosen it up a little bit. And that'd be where we're gonna um, route this IP68 uh, fully weatherproof connection here. So, one hand, you're gonna lift up this fairing, and the other hand, you're just gonna run this connector down underneath. Then, uh, once we get our light mounted, we're gonna be able to open the hood and pull any excess wire down into the engine bay. It works best to route the uh, wire fully on the back side. There's like a channel. It might be hard to see on the video, but there's a channel here on the back side. Okay, like so. Now we can go ahead and uh, put our Torx 30 bolt back. Like so. Now we're ready to remove this bolt. This is a Torx Plus 25. So you'll need to swap bits and remove it the same way. Like so. Now this bolt we are not gonna be reusing. We're gonna be using the F-150 LEDs hardware, which we've already got attached uh, to our mounting bracket. 
But before we attach the light, go ahead and put our washer here. This is just to, just to protect this plastic fairing a little bit as you rotate uh, these lights for your preference. Okay. Now we're ready to attach our bolt here. We're going to be using a 5 16 uh, wrench. Takes a look. And also note, it's your preference on where you slide the Spartan light. You know, we recommend all the way to the inside because it helps avoid the antenna on the passenger side. So go ahead and get your bolt in. It takes a little bit of patience to get that first thread in here. Then you can begin tightening. And once you've got it tightened all the way, we'll be able to uh, install our harness. Okay, so hooking up our harness is extremely easy. We're just going to take our light connector side of the harness here that we ran through earlier under the hood. And then we're going to take our uh, thermal braided harness here and connect it using this IP68 fully weatherproof connector. You'll want to notice that there's a notch taken out that's going to make sure that we get our polarity right. So line that notch up on both sides and then press firmly all the way in. And then we're going to take our lock ring collar here and you're just going to want to work it over the threads and then tighten it all the way down. It's tight, but there's a compression ring on the inside and on the outside. So you're going to want to tighten it all the way to make sure you got that weatherproof seal. Oops. There we go. Okay, so once that's firmly seated, you'll be able to uh, install your other light. And as you see, we have already run our thermal harness to the passenger side and made our uh, connection using that IP68 connector. So both our uh, lights are hooked up. The next thing that you'll want to do is take your positive terminal ring and using a 10 millimeter socket, you'll be able to remove one of these bolts, place your terminal ring right over one of these posts and reinstall uh, that nut. And then you're going to want to come to your uh, negative terminal, your ground side and do the exact same thing. The last step is hooking up our switch. So we're going to be using a wireless switch today, which is optional. Uh, it installs extremely easy. There's an automotive grade adhesive here on the back. We're going to adhere right here to this panel cover. Apply some downward pressure. Now what this uh, receiver is going to allow us to do is control both lights remotely using a, a key fob like this. And it also enables strobe light function. So whether you're at a campsite or out in the woods and you're not in your Bronco, you'll be able to use this remote here to turn your lights on to give you all the light you need to accomplish what you're doing. Uh, so it's a great uh, addition. So what you're going to do is from your harness side, you're going to plug in here just like that on this side of the wireless receiver. And then on this side of the receiver, we can still use our physical switches. So if you're using the aux switch like this truck is equipped with, you're going to plug in this white uh, connector here with a single wire like so. Now if your Bronco wasn't equipped with aux switches, you can uh, still use like a premium in-dash switch like this. It'll just be run through the rubber grommet here below uh, your aux switch connectors. But in this case, we're going to be using the wireless module with the aux switch connector. So that'll give us wireless control and control with our aux switch on the inside. Now when it comes to the aux switch wiring, it's all located right here in this bundle. And you can check your Bronco manual to tell you which colors. Uh, correspond with which wire. We're going to be using switch 3 today because we've got various products that we're going to be have installed and going to be installing. Now one thing to take note is we use our, our full thermal braid uh, harness here so what we're actually using this aux switch to power is simply our relay not the lights themselves. So that gives you a lot more control over which switches you want to use and powering more powerful lights and it won't put a strain on the factory wiring. So we highly recommend using the uh, auxiliary harnesses. To use your fuse, or excuse me, your quick splice connector, you just run each wire on each channel and then with the pliers, you just firmly push down on the metal tab here and it connects both wires. Just give it a tug, make sure that they're um, firmly connected and then you fold over this tab and that's it. So that's all there is to equipping your 2021 and up Ford Bronco with the F-150 LED Spartan hood lights. These things are extremely bright. They're definitely going to uh, turn the night into day in front of you. The camera can't capture how bright these lights are, but they look fantastic. Even when the lights are off, 
The Spartan housings look fantastic mounted here on the Bronco. We highly recommend them for your Bronco truck. We guarantee you're going to love them. You can check them out as well as all of our custom built LED lighting for your Ford Bronco at F150LEDs.com. We truly appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you there. Thanks guys.